Disruptions caused by COVID-19 are hitting companies' earnings hard. Let us do a three-point analysis to identify companies or sectors which should ideally be avoided due to weak balance sheets. 1. Cement and capital goods sectors Well, COVID-19 outbreak coincides with the peak demand season that is January to June. Now, the lockdown is expected to have a severe impact on revenues and on margins as well. For the cement sector, the leverage ratio is elevated owing to the capital-intensive nature of the business and also the top five names, ACC, Ambuja, Sri Cement, Dalmia and also Ultratech Cement, they are well capitalized and have enough liquidity to meet their debt and also the interest obligations. However, the mid-size or the smaller companies will face challenges. Sagar Cements and India Cements appear to be most vulnerable over here. Gujarat-based Sanghi Industries should also be avoided by the investors. Capital goods sector was waiting for recovery and the present crisis has only extended its hope really. Now most companies were already struggling because of the slowdown in economic activity and due to the lower demand. Now COVID-19 will make the recovery even more difficult. Many companies have a legacy issue of high borrowings. Now the other major issue is going to be the delay and the cancellation of projects which will extend working capital and cash conversion cycles as well. Now at the individual level, it would be worth keeping an eye on the companies like BGR Energy, CG Power, Kalpatru Power and Transmission who have uh, relatively lower financial flexibility and on the other hand, Cochin Shipyard, Garden Reach Shipyard and also Thermax, Cummins, ABB and KEC International, they have relatively better debt servicing capabilities and lower or negligible leverage in their balance sheets as well. 2. Hospitality and Pharma Sectors Well, occupancies and tariffs at major hotel chains are already seeing steep decline in the earnings. Now, this in turn would erode profitability of these hotel companies due to the heavy loss of business during the kind of peak season that we are witnessing right now, which is traditionally a, a strong season. Companies with high debt on balance sheet will have an additional burden on fixed interest costs and the shrinking interest cover as well. Now, companies like Lemon Tree, Mahindra Holidays and Resorts, Charlotte Hotels, Oriental Hotels, Royal Orchid Hotels, they could face tough times ahead due to the high debt. Even leading business like Indian Hotels Company is not fully immune. Now, listed multiplex operators like PVR and Inox Leisure are the worst hit with closure of uh, movie theatres. And they, we actually see PVR as the more vulnerable one given the outstanding debt of around 1000 crores on its books. Inox is well placed on the leverage front, it is uh, almost debt free. Now we expect a possible revival only in FI22. Hence, despite the sharp corrections that we've already witnessed, further downside in these stocks cannot be ruled out. In case of another defensive sector that is pharma, downside in earnings is expected to be low. Uh, while there are companies such as Arti Drugs, Cadilla Healthcare, Strides Pharma, Glenmark Pharma and Hikal Pharma, which have slightly stretched balance sheets, we do believe debt servicing should actually not be a problem here. Now, companies which can be avoided due to the weak debt metrics are Wokart Pharma, Lhasa Super Generics and also Mangalam Drugs. 3. Auto and Aviation Sectors Well, the Indian automobile sector has been struggling on the back of multiple macroeconomic challenges for the past two years. Now, with COVID-19 outbreak, everything has actually come to a grinding halt from production to sales. Now, high capex and lower growth has actually led to an increase in the total debt to equity for many of the companies. Companies such as Ashok Leyland and Tata Motors, Mahindra and Mahindra, they are in a very weak spot in the current market. Now, within the two-wheeler space, TVS Motors is the only one with very high leverage of 2.9 times. And among the auto ancillary companies, Mother Sansumi, Ramakrishna Forgin, MM Forgin, they have high leverage and high global exposure and hence should be avoided by investors. Aviation is another sector that has been directly impacted due to COVID-19. Now, between the two listed players, we do believe SpiceJet would face significant challenge and uh, as it is already has a net debt of about 830 crores at the end of Q3 FY20 and has negative net worth. Therefore, investors must completely avoid investing in this company right now.